After finishing up the second round Saturday morning, a couple of Aussies found their way into the final pairing of the day for the third round, and Matt Jones and Jason Day put on quite a show from Whistling Straits. Matt Jones even took a little bit of time during his round to get up close and personal with fans, and by that I mean his tee shot landed in the hospitality tent. Jones was able to punch it out, and he would go on to two putt for bogey. A couple of bogeys and a triple on 17 coming in dropped Jones back to T6 at 12 under. Playing partner Jason Day is focused and seems in control heading into the final round. He solidified his two-shot lead on 17, walking in this birdie putt from 26 feet. Tomorrow will tell if after such a strong showing in majors this year, they will finally get the job done. And you may have heard of the guy he has a two-shot lead over. That's right. The stars are aligning. Dreams are coming true. And we have a Jason Day, Jordan Speed final pairing at the PGA Championship. How about a bogey-free seven under from Speed on Saturday? Jordan closed with three consecutive birdies to get to 13 under and will be teeing it up with Day tomorrow. A cool storyline considering both guys were unable to make it in the playoff at the Open Championship last month. After a strong Saturday, Justin Rose will be teeing it up with Brendan Grace, who moved 11 spots up the leaderboard after carding the low round of the day, a bogey-free 8-under 64. His round was complete with an impressive pullout from the bunker. After finishing up his second round Saturday morning, Tiger Woods did not make the cut for his third consecutive major. He did announce, however, that he will be teeing it up at the Wyndham Championship next week. All right, that's all I have for the takeaway. I will see you right back here on Monday, where I will wrap up everything that happened in the final round of the PGA Championship and a brand new Trending on Tour.